America is a big country with a lot of people who use a lot of water. Today we're going to meet Joe. Joe is a pretty average American. Every day he tries to do his part to be sustainable and conserve water. When he brushes his teeth, he makes sure to turn the faucet off. And when he showers, he keeps it short. As Joe goes through his day, we're going to keep track of his water use. Joe's off to the grocery store, and when he gets there, he's got a lot of choices. What Joe decides to eat tonight could really affect his water impact. Let's say he goes for the chicken sausage. Nice choice, Joe. Now he picks up some beef. Whoa, Joe, what's up with your water use, man? When thinking about his water use, Joe only considered the water he could see. What he couldn't see was... From irrigation to processing to transportation, food has a massive environmental footprint. But when we're shopping, we don't see any of that. Let's take a look at Joe's cart again. That steak required over 2,000 gallons of water to produce and about 70 pounds of CO2. The chicken required 500 gallons of water and 25 pounds of CO2. That's a difference of 2,000 gallons in just one meal. What if there were an easy way to see the impact of our food at the grocery store? That's green score. Here's how it works. When you grab a product, you see a score from 1 to 10. More sustainable products have a lower score and a green label. Less sustainable products have a higher score with a red label. With green score, someone like Joe can easily compare products and make choices that are better for the environment. Considering that the typical cart of food has a water impact of over 10,000 gallons, these small choices have a big effect on America's water use. Joe's just an average guy, but there are 300 million average people in America. If everyone could shop a little smarter, then maybe California wouldn't have to import water. Saving water just got easy.